Hello, this is Carol at MySiteWizard.org. Today's tutorial is on registering your site with Google. Why do it? Well, if you don't do it, the likelihood of you getting visitors to your website is greatly diminished, so we need to do it. It's the most popular browser on uh, the web. That's why we're choosing this one. You can see I've listed a couple others, Yahoo and Demos. Uh, you want to register them on those ones as well and more. Google will take about six months for it to register your website. So you want to do it as soon as possible. Let's say you've got your site up and running. You like how you've got it organized and you've got some content on it. It's not finished, but you've got some content. Register it then. Websites are something like us. You know, we're dynamic. We keep changing, or hopefully we do. And uh, your website, you'll continue to add to it. It'll never and it should never be finished. Uh, it's not a concrete product like that. S so start to register it as soon as it's up. Okay, let's just quickly look at Google itself. Now here's a site that should be really familiar to you. Anyone looking to buy a product or search information, they're going to probably be coming here to do that. So if I was a dog owner, and I was locating, wanting to locate dog bones for sale on my website or for sale on the internet, I would probably come here and look at the results. Almost, well, it's almost 4.8 million, isn't it? Huge number of returns that I get for dog bones. So it's not a very tight niche. The first result is actually not an organic result. It's actually a paid for sponsored area. But here we have several that have gotten organic searches uh, results and that's just great. Your goal should be to be in the top five pages uh, or three pages over about a six month period. Now if you can get into the top page, the first page or the top ten results, you've done a lot of things right in your steps to get your site registered and listed high in Google and other sites and it's the first step in your internet marketing. On your website you want to choose which page you are going to register. For this site I'm going to choose the home page. It does not have to be that one. That's the one I'm choosing. You then go up to your address line which is actually the address to your site or known as the URL. Right click and copy it. Or if you're on a Mac like I am, go Command C. Now what I want to do is I'm actually going to remove part of that name, the website name, and I'm going to substitute it with google.com forward slash add URL and click on that and you're taken to the area where you're going to add your website name. Here where it says URL I'm going to right click paste or command V. And there's my website name and here you're going to actually add a brief description of your website. This does not affect how it's indexed or shown by Google. It's just information that they're asking for. After you've put in a brief description, then you want to go down to this area. You're being asked to actually put in this funny set of letters. I have a difficult time seeing and it explains to you it's just to help them distinguish between site real sites and those that are actually um, automatically put in by robots. So if I've got that right then you just click on add URL and it says thank you. So that's done. Now you can read more information and they actually suggest that you uh, find out more about Webmaster Tools that they offer at Google. This is a great free service that they offer. I'd suggest that you do it as part of your learning curve. That's finished. We've now registered a site with Google. Uh, I hope you join our community at mysitewizard.org forward slash blog to learn more of uh, how to use these terrific tools at mysitewizard.org. Remember, it's a dynamic process. Keep your eye on the goal, keep focused, and uh, you know, have a good day. Thanks so much. Goodbye.